are talking about the ones that a lot of people are not even talking about. Hey, so what's going on? I'm super excited for this video. If you are new to my channel, welcome to my channel. I'm so glad you are here. I am a cosmetic chemist specializing in natural hair care and the creator of this amazing channel called Curly Chemistry where I help you understand your hair from a cosmetic chemist perspective and I also help entrepreneurs buy hair care lines as well and today we are talking about some hidden culprits that lead to hair thinning and I'm not talking about the basic ones that you can find anywhere online we are talking about the ones that a lot of people are not even talking about and of course you guys know I'm gonna give you guys some solutions as well so you guys know always anytime let's get started okay so when it comes to the culprit of hair thinning it's either going to be internal or external now in the case of it being internal this is usually when it gets down to hormonal issues or autoimmune issues so when it comes to our hair growth and our hair growth cycle it is regulated by our hormones so if something is out of whack if something is off balance like we have too little estrogen and more androgens for example we are going to see a decrease in hair length growth and also thickness as well when it comes to autoimmune issues for example like thyroid or lupus that's kind of where you have your body attacking these healthy cells disrupting the hair growth cycle now also with internal you have poor nutrition and diet this is probably a big one because to be honest a lot of us are not eating the way that we should a lot of us are not getting our daily nutrients and we may have some hidden vitamin deficiencies going on as well and you guys know I talk a lot about iron and vitamin D and biotin deficiencies and that's actually a thing that can lead to hair thinning so when it comes to the external this is more so what we do to ourselves on a daily basis and number one is going to be over styling and I feel like as a community we have focused so much on styling more than anything and now I feel like we are finally getting to a rhythm where we are realizing the importance of health and maintenance over styling our hair now when it comes to over styling our hair whether it be relaxer whether it be chemical burns that came from a relaxer whether it be tight styles from braids or low losing edges due to lace front wigs now the second part of external culprits that lead to hair thinning is going to be scalp conditions if we are not properly cleansing our scalp exfoliating our scalp if we're waiting too long to wash our hair we have product buildup we're going to have some issues that can lead to hair thinning and of course hair loss so I've given you guys all the things, the culprits. Let's talk about some solutions. Okay, so when it comes to solutions, let's talk about the internal culprits first. We mentioned hormonal issues, autoimmune issues, and poor diet and nutrition. So this first solution, I believe, will help with all three of those culprits, which is going to be developing a healthy diet. This includes consuming more veggies and more fruits, healthy fats, even opting for a low carb diet. There has been some research showing that carbohydrates can also lead to inflammation. So if you're gonna opt for carbs, try to look for low glycemic foods to help lower your insulin levels. Even incorporating some lifestyle changes like avoiding excessive alcohol, avoiding smoking, and even getting more rest at night will play a huge role in preventing hair thinning and also reversing hair thinning as well. And when it comes to the external culprits, those solutions, for example, for over styling low maintenance as much as possible you want to avoid any tight styles any style that cause stress or trauma to the scalp and then for the scalp conditions I recommend washing your hair between two to four times a month ideally make sure that you exfoliate your scalp as needed and also avoid any heavy creams on the scalp as well and if you have an ongoing condition I do recommend seeing a dermatologist or a trichologist in your area all right guys hope you've enjoyed this video and learned something new if you like this video please be sure to like this video and for more curly chemistry content be sure to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell as well and of course i do have a question for you what is one piece of hair care advice that has helped you the most on your hair care journey comment below and let us all know and i cannot wait to have the conversation with you and if you want to learn more about the science behind your hair and the best ingredients for your hair check out these curly chemistry resources up here my best advice are in these resources i will have the link below and a promo code for you as well and if you would like one-on-one -on -one hair care coaching with me where I can develop a customized hair care plan for you definitely sign up for a call with me I'll post the link below for you with more information 
And if you are ready to start your hair care line, no matter where you are in the world, you can connect with me one-on-one. -on -one. I have a link below for you as well. All right, guys. I love you, and I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.